Just-in-Mind Prototyper lets you add condition to every action and event so that they will only be triggered after specific actions. For instance, you can simulate a login page that lets you access the next page only if you enter the right username and password. First, draw the login form with a label, a text field, and a button. Then, drag the login button to a new welcome screen you'll see that a new link event has been created in the event tab. Above the event, click on the Add Condition button to open the dialog box. In the Condition Editor, you'll find a white zone where you can build your condition. And on the left side, a panel with all the elements that you'll need to build it. This panel includes the prototype components and functions for the condition. Here, we want to go to the Welcome page only if the user enters the username admin and the password 1234. As these are two conditions, we first need to add the function and the ampersand. Then, for both conditions, you need to drag the equal function. At the left of the ampersand, drag the first equal sign. Now, drag the login text field in the first square. And at the right of the equal sign, enter the text admin. At the right of the ampersand, drag another equal sign and do the same thing as before, but replace the login field by the password field and admin by 1234. Click on OK and you'll see the conditions in the event tab. Under the navigation event, you'll see that the second part of the condition has appeared. Click on this Else if you want to show an error message, in case of wrong login or password. But first, draw the error message in the canvas. In the Property tab, select it as Hidden by Default. Now, go back to the Event tab of the Login button and open the Else option. You just need to build the event that will be triggered if the login and password are not correct. Click on the Hide Show event and choose the error message to show it on the screen. Click on OK and simulate your prototype to check it's working correctly. If you entered the right login and password, the prototype should show the second screen. Otherwise, the error message should appear. The condition feature gives you endless possibilities. You can create complex conditions and combine them with all kinds of events. You can copy them on other events and even other components.